Amen. And the Bible said, now when they heard they were not right, they walked to church, they were not. Heard them speaking their own language. And they were all amazed and marvelled, saying one to another. Behold, I'm not all these that speak Galilee. And how would we ever met my own tongue when we were born? Prophets and Medes, Elamites, and brothers of Mesopotamia, and in Judea, and in Cappadocia, and in Pontus, and Asia, in Phrygia, and Pamphylia, in Egypt, and in parts of Libya, about Siren, and strangers of all Jews, proselytes, Greeks, and Arabians. We do all that of speak in our tongue the wonderful works of God. So that was the spirit that feel it, right? Wait a minute, they got filled with the Holy Ghost. Ain't that good enough? Wait a minute, they're speaking in tongues. Ain't that good enough? Ain't that good enough? Some people to believe all that you need is the Holy Ghost. Maybe that's good. But you need the other part of it too. Born of the water and of the spirit. Pastor, I'm speaking tongues. But have you been baptized in the name of Jesus? Ah, yes. Let's go to the word. Why would the book of Acts chapter number 2 drop down around by verse number 34? For David is not ascended up into heaven, but he said to himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit down on my right hand and I make thy phone that foot through. Now, that was in all the houses of Israel know, assuredly, that God has made that same Jesus whom he have crucified by Lord in Christ. Now, when they heard this, they were pricking their hearts and said unto Peter to the rest of the apostles, me and the problem, what shall we do? If you don't know, you better ask somebody. Ain't that what the world say? Somebody say, I, I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved. Thank God I'm saved, I'm saved, yeah. Are you really? Are you born of the water and of the spirit? Are you really? Let's see what the book says. Verse number 38. Amen. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repentance means you're going north, doing a about face, 180 return in the opposite direction, and start going south. That's repentance. Repentance means no smoking, no drinking, no dipping, no sleeping, no pipe sucking. I'm not in that mess. No, no casino going. Repentance means to change. No income tax sheet. No messing around, no sleeping around, nothing, no ball popping. That means repentance means to change. Amen. It ain't complicated. I mean, all the gospel is simple. People just don't want to change. Amen. Okay, let's go back to the word God. Repent and be baptized, some of you. I hope ain't nobody can say amen. Some of you. Every one of you. Methodist, Catholic, Episcopal, Lutheran, every one of you. If I said, I don't baptize the Jesus man in my church, they should. I don't know why they don't. I just know that they should. And they came out, came here, went to the theology school and a, and a seminary, and they didn't get that revelation from the Bible. So you have an edge on them because now you know. Amen. And because you know, it's time for you to do. Amen. Amen. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So that's a commandment. Did y'all not know Acts 2 and 38 is a commandment with a promise? The Bible, it promised that you will be filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost if you go down in water in Jesus' name. He promised to give you the Holy Ghost if you go down in water in Jesus' name. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to your children and the heart of the fall, even the minute the Lord our God shall come. Amen. Amen. And with many other words that they did he testify to God saying, Save yourself from the underworld generation. Then they that gladly received the word were baptized the same day, and that was added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine 
and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayer. So the apostles' doctrine is what the apostles taught. The apostles taught baptism in Jesus' name. The apostles taught that you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. The apostles taught what Jesus taught them. That's what they taught. So why is it that we get these new revelations? Why is it that we got these new revelations? It's because we're in error. If we do anything else outside of the word of God, this ain't no cold, baby. Y'all see what I'm teaching y'all is coming straight up out the Bible. It ain't coming from no revelation. This how I know God give me revelation. I just don't preach my revelation. God give me revelation. God show me so much stuff, but I don't get up in the pulpit and preach it to you. In vain do they worship me. Teach me for doctrine the commandments of men. <laughs> y'all, y'all look at me like that. Let's go to Luke chapter 24. Let's bag up, then we're going to go for our bag up. See, I ain't, I ain't, we ain't got no power to have the Spirit of God lead. How the Spirit of God lead. Luke chapter 24. We got yet? A couple pages back from Acts. Amen? And sometimes, let me tell y'all something. When you read the Word of God, and you say, Lord, open up my understanding, Lord, so I can understand your word. Lord, help me. And ain't nothing wrong with praying over this word before you get into this word, so you won't get deceived. So Pastor Jones will lead you down the wrong path. That no man or woman of God will lead you down the wrong road. Because what we got today is a bunch of people following their pastors, following their leaders, but they ain't following the word of God. Amen. They're following what the pastor said. They're following what the bishop said. They're following what the priest said. Word. We need to read the word, baby. And I told y'all, whenever I stop preaching the word, please get up and exit stage right or left. Just get up out of here. Let's go back to the book. Verse 45. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scripture. And he said unto them, Dust it is written, and dust it behoove Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance. What? We supposed to be preaching what? Repentance. We supposed to be preaching that people got to come up out of their sin. And that repentance and remission of sin to be preached in his name among all nations. Beginning at the end. The same message I'm preaching in, in Mobile, Alabama. Is the same message they need to be preaching in Wiesbaden, Germany. In Seoul, Germany. You know, I'm so for real. Amen. 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 In Tokyo, Japan, all the place. They need to be preaching this. In South Africa, in Johannesburg, 